Ronan and Shelafin sat down to discuss. Ronan asked Shelafin to tell him the news regarding Nebula Clagier, he asked Shelafin if he was able to get rid of the spies who were in his family. Shelafin told Ronan that his family is currently carrying out a large-scale operation to find the spies. He told Ronan that the operation began 15 days ago. According to Shelafin, his family has been able to catch 19 traitors, Shelafin killed 5 among the 19 traitors. Shelafin told Ronan that the rest of the traitors will be transferred to Rodolin prison and will receive better interrogation at the prison. Shelafin revealed to Ronan that a problem came up while they were capturing the traitors. With a serious look on his face, Shelafin told Ronan that the prohibition is no longer working on the traitors. Ronan was shocked to hear this. He could not believe what he was hearing. Shelafin told Ronan that the prohibition stopped working on all 19 traitors after they were captured. This did not make sense to Shelafin. With a serious look on his face, Ronan told Shelafin that Nebula Clagier might have found a way to deal with the prohibition. Shelafin told Ronan that this is the only explanation. Ronan was annoyed to hear this. Ronan realized that the only way for him to find the traitors is for him to look at their mana and single them out. Shelafin stood up and told Ronan that he is done with what he wants to say. He told Ronan that he will share more information with him when he gets it. Shelafin looked at Ronan and told him that he hopes to see him later. Ronan did not understand what Shelafin was saying. Shelafin told Ronan that he hopes to fight him again in their midterm evaluation exam. The midterm evaluation exam was the event which Krava wanted to inform Ronan about. Unfortunately, Ronan did not wait to hear him. Ronan was shocked to hear this. He could not believe that he was going to be having an exam very soon. Two days later, we are taken to a deserted island owned by Philion Academy. This island is known as Philland. This island is where Navy Rose is conducting her advanced rail combat swordsmanship test. On the island, we see Navy Rose staring at her students. Navy Rose made sure that all her students came to the island. After confirming that no student was missing, Navy Rose told her students that she will explain the midterm evaluation test to them. Navy Rose told them that her classes are aimed to mimic real-life combat. She revealed to her students that she originally wanted to send them to a battlefield in order for them to have the best experience. According to Navy Rose, she could not send them to such a dangerous place because of school regulations and guidelines. Ronan was sad to hear this. He believed that it would have been much better for them if they were thrown to a battlefield. The other students were shocked to hear Navy Rose's original plan. They were very happy that the school saved them from the battlefield. Navy Rose told her students that they will be spread across the entire island and will engage in a battle for survival. There are no limits in this battle. Ronan was shocked to hear that he was allowed to fight without any limitations or restrictions. Navy Rose told her students that they do not need to worry about dying. She pointed at a rack which had some bracelets on it and told the students that she has prepared a safety measure for them. According to Navy Rose, if the wearer of the bracelet becomes incapacitated, the bracelet which is equipped with a magic spell will transfer him or her back to the academy's plaza. Navy Rose assured her students that the best healers are at the academy. She told them that even the most severe injuries will be treated with ease. With a terrifying smile on her face, Navy Rose told her students that they are allowed to fight anyhow they choose in this test. She told them that all methods are acceptable. She asked her students to kill to their heart's content. Ronan and the other students were shocked to hear this. This was Ronan's first time seeing Navy Rose so excited. Ronan was certain that an instructor should not be saying anything Navy Rose said. Navy Rose picked up a bracelet and asked her students to step out as she calls their names. Navy Rose revealed to her students that they will be transported to the coordinates predetermined by the bracelet. Once they wear it, the first student which Navy Rose called out was Adeshan. Ronan already knew that Adeshan was going to attend the evaluation test. Although he already knew, he was still surprised to see her. When Adeshan stepped out, the other students began to gossip about her. A girl said that Adeshan is really shameless. She told her friend that Adeshan is getting preferential treatment even though she is a repeat student. The girl was annoyed to see that Adeshan was going to get credits for the course. Another girl said that it is a good thing that Adeshan is participating in the exam. With a smile on her face, the girl told her friend that they will be able to avoid getting last place if a flunking student like Adeshan participates. Ronan really hated the words which his classmates used to describe Adeshan. Unfortunately, Ronan knew that these words were true. While staring at Adeshan, Ronan realized that Adeshan would die if she steps into a battlefield with her current skills. Ronan knew that there was another better choice for Adeshan. Unfortunately, he was still not certain if he should tell Adeshan. After putting on the bracelet, 
Adeshan, and the other students got transferred to different locations. The scene shifts and we see Ronan get transferred to a new location. Immediately Ronan arrived at his new location, he looked around. Ronan wondered if he was the only one who got transferred here, with a smile on his face. Ronan said that he is not that lucky, he asked his senior to stop hiding behind a tree. The senior was shocked to see that Ronan discovered his presence. Ronan smiled at his senior and told him that he looks uncomfortable. The senior was terrified to see Ronan. He did not know why he had to meet such a powerful monster at the beginning of the test. The senior picked up his axe and rushed to attack Ronan from behind. When the senior got close to him, he landed his attack and smashed the ground. Due to the impact of the attack, the area was covered in dust. When the dust cleared up, we see Ronan holding his sword to his senior's throat. Ronan told his senior that he is being mean to a junior. The senior did not understand what was happening. He was certain that he was the one who attacked Ronan. He did not know how he got on his knees. Ronan looked around and smiled. He told the seniors who surrounded him that he is quite disappointed. The seniors were shocked to hear this. They could not believe that Ronan already knew their locations. Ronan told the seniors that they are smart for forging a temporary alliance with each other. Immediately they got transferred. The seniors were annoyed to hear this. Ronan smiled when he realized how dangerous his current situation was. He was quite impressed with the fact that the students of the academy were able to quickly respond to a problem. Ronan picked up a rock. While the archer was staring at him from a tree, Ronan threw the rock at his head with great precision. As the archer fell from the tree, Ronan told the seniors that their strategy was not the best one. The moment the archer landed on the ground, he got transported back to the academy. The senior who saw this was shocked. He immediately told his classmates that their ambush failed. The senior asked his classmates to take a stance and get ready. He assured them that they will be able to take Ronan since he is alone. He told his classmates that it does not matter how talented Ronan is, Ronan will not be able to defeat all of them. The five seniors took out their weapons and came out of hiding. They believe that their advantage lies in their numbers. All the seniors charged at Ronan at the same time. Although his seniors were about to attack him together, Ronan was not bothered by their attack. The scene shifts and we see Ronan putting his sword back into its sheath. While putting his sword into its sheath, we see the bodies of his seniors all over the place. The seniors were getting transferred back to the academy. Ronan was surprised to see that it took him more time than expected to take care of the seniors. Ronan realized that it was a bit difficult because he was fighting second-year students. While looking around, Ronan wondered if Adeshan is okay. The scene shifts and we are taken to a cliff, at the cliff. We see a girl resting on her sword after fighting three boys. A boy carrying a mace tells the girl that he never expected her to last so long. With a scary smile on his face, the boy told the girl that it is over. He asked the girl to give up. This girl turns out to be Adeshan. Guys we have come to the end of our video. If you guys want part 27 of this video, let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button for more recaps. See you guys later.